Hello, what's up, guys? Uh, today we will learn how uh, what is the online uh, ordering system, food ordering system, and uh, today I am going to about what is the purpose of online ordering system. The purpose of online ordering system is to make itself be beneficial for the customer and the business so that they can stay a lot while also serving customers the favorite dishes with food aggregators increasing their commissions every quarter it is uh, unsustainable uh, for the restaurant to manage their restaurant while depending on the food delivery orders from swiggy and zomato the online ordering market is expanding and especially the online food ordering segment is growing at the very rapid pace Food delivery is the preferred way for customer to enjoy food these days. This change has been roughly over to the pandemic where customer prefer to online food online uh, instead of uh, dining out. What is the online ordering system? An online food ordering system or an online ordering platform is a place where customer can directly order from the restaurant instead of going through a third party food delivery business. It is a web-based ordering system where customer using a mobile app can use the online user's interface to order online. Online ordering system are where you can um, easily ask customer to order from without needing to pay any huge commission to ordering apps that are popular in the market these days. So this is the demo of the online food ordering system where your menu will be showing on the top of the uh, browser venue and here we have fast food delivery and cart is also shown register link and the login link will display in the navigation bar and in the next uh, row will cover categories uh, like category 1 category 2 and so on category n in the next uh, row of the line will display the items menu items like uh, fast food items and the meals etc and here we have a details button just go for the details button we will go for adding items in the admin panel if you are an admin then you will add some add items to the card okay and add items to the database table so here we have item details like name description price category subcategory spiciness counts etc and here we have adding card details by the user like uh, item number, item details, price, uh, increasing and decreasing items by using their buttons and, uh, and the total number of total, uh, total uh, value will be given in uh, footer bar. Okay, So here we have a summary also. Just go for the summary and place the order where your pickup details are there like name, phone number, date, time, additional instruction etc. And just click on to the uh, like that. If you are a user then you can just create a new category also, subcategory also and menu item. So how do online ordering system work? Online ordering system are very simple to manage at dynamic. Every online food ordering system built by us is very simple. To use regularly the way online food delivery works is a customer can go to the special website created for the restaurant that is included with the payment gateway or provider and delivery aggregator the website display a uh, created set of menus that our customer can order from the pay directly and enter the address to get delivered to this home resistance okay so this is the thing you can do by using asp.net core so past order list if you have like that so just go for the uh, website and uh, just go for the visual studio and just create a online fast ordering app okay so if if you have not a registered user or not you are uh, authenticated user first of all authenticate into the website by their username and the password and some additional details like name email phone number street address city state postal code etc First of all, go for the Visual Studio and here we have the default template is there like that 
and just go for the ASP.NET Core Web App application like Model View Controller. So ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. So just start the project for the day one. So a project name is the online food, online food ordering. So here we have the name that is online food ordering. Click to next. And here we have framework is .NET 6.0 long term support out of the support is 5.0 so just select 6.0 and configure for HTTPS enable docker do not use top level statements leave blanks and create just click to create button so here we have a solution explorer and here we have online food ordering system Connected services, dependencies, properties, www root folder, controller, models, views, and app settings, and program.cs file. Now, in the app settings.json, first of all things, just add a connection string. I will create a connection string with the SQL server. So, just go to the tools. Uh, there are not added actually. Here we have already added a connection string as a code snippets. So, just I am using code snippets for connection string so uh, just go for the connection string and there is no oops app settings here we have app settings and uh, here we have a sql connection string so uh, here we have a connection string and just uh, learn about the connection string you can write this connection string yourself and database is online hotel dot web just change this database name like like uh, online ordering online food ordering db so here we have the name of the database so connection strings there uh, here we have a plural name connection strings so uh, in which you can add multiple connection string that is the first connection string that is application db context connection and then server name is local db ms sql local db Database name is online food ordering DB. Trusted connection is true. I mean to say that you uh, you have a window of security and multiple active results set is true. I mean to set uh, to fire DML, DQL and lots of query at the time. So save this connection string. Now just go for the next section that is register that connection string in program.cs file. In, uh, if you want to register that connection string in program.cs file, just go for the builder.services.add controller with views. Just after that, you have to add this line of code in a, uh, in a program.cs file. Just I want to register that connection string by using this line of code. So here we have the builder.services add db context, application db context, options, uh, options.use SQL server build.configuration.connectionString application db context that that is the name where your app settings.json file is there application db context connection now uh, here we have uh, use sql server so package is required so just go for so first of all uh, comment this line of code and add some required things like that some packages and application db context file so now just go for the packages section and here we have right click on your project name and manage new cut package and browse my uh, uh, sql server sql server so first to download this package uh, microsoft entity framework core dot sql server and the latest stable is 7.0 but 7.0 is actually working with the uh, .NET uh, 7 so uh, just I am going to use 6.0.11 package and just go for the install and the next one just I am going to add the another package that is entity framework core for the identity package identity so just to search it and here you can see the lots of package about the identity but I am going to add the identity package that is the ASP.NET Core dot 
identity so here we have lots of options are there so just go for the fall package microsoft dot asp net core dot identity dot entity framework and here we have microsoft dot asp net core dot identity dot entity framework core the latest stable is 6.0.11 package so just install it okay so here we have two packages okay we have to add now just go for the create application db context class in the data section so here we have not any uh, data uh, ta uh, folder so just create it data and add the data context file so application db context just create a right click on the data tab data directory and just add application db context now in that application db context you can add this line of code so here we have a data context one to one mapping one to one data context class so add these data context class right here so application db context is there so here we have lots of db set so just remove first and here we have a public class application db context that inherited with the identity db context so just use control and dot key of your keyboard and select microsoft asp net core dot identity dot entity framework core that package will be uh, display in the top of the bar using microsoft dot asp net core dot identity dot entity framework cores core as a namespace now in the uh, constructor you have seen a parameter that is db context options with the application db context class so use again control and dot key of your keyboard and select using microsoft dot entity framework core okay so everything is fine now just after go for the again program dot cs file and uncomment this line of code again after uncomment this line of code you will see that the error is coming again application db context now just use control and dot key of your keyboard and you and remove and use online ordering dot data of your name for your namespace so this is the line of code and again control dot using microsoft dot entity framework core for use sql server so here we go so now your all uh, your code is error free now now just go for the next day for your next tutorial thank you very much for watching